My name is Maria, Maria Blanco, and I am a lecturer at the Universidad San Pablo CEU, the School of Economic and Business, and I teach history of economic thought and also economic theory and economic history. The title of my book is very difficult to translate into English. It's Botasteis Gestos, Tenéis Gestos, on the decadence of the Spanish democracy. And it's like, did you vote for gestures? Okay, this is what you have. The aim of the book is just to, to make some questions, to highlight the, the importance of the rule of law, and to ask people, ask the citizens, the civil society, what are you doing with this a wonderful golden rule uh, of the, the, the rule of law that is the very, at the very basis of our democracies. Just uh, when the, this explosion of uh, the pandemia in March uh, the 20, 2020, uh, just about one month after, the Spanish government decided to make some decisions that were not related with health uh, uh, or any other safety measures or whatever, but about different things and against the rule of law. And after a year, I was like amazed because the, the, the Spanish citizens were allowing a lot of things against the rule of law by a democratic government. And uh, I just tried to to ask my people, what are you doing? Uh, why are you accepting all this situation? Why are you uh, just looking at the, our democracy, uh, well, uh, debased by wrong uh, political decisions? There are several messages. To begin with, I try to, to explain to everybody to the average citizen, that we all are involved in politics. Even if I don't vote, I never voted, uh, I realize I know that, that I am a political animal, as we are all a political animals. We are involved in our political life, in our cities or in, in our countries, etc. So uh, I try to show everybody that we have a, a political identity and this idea of identity and the messages we are receiving from this point of view is very, very interesting. On the other hand, um, I want to explain in a very simple way what is the rule of law, w why the rule of law is important for our liberal democracies and what happens when there is no rule of law in a society, like for example in Venezuela or in Cuba or USSR, of course, well, the former USSR and, and the present USSR because <laughs> it's quite similar. And um, I think that, that we have to look at the rule of law as a dynamic thing, as a dynamic structure. It's, nothing, it, it's not it, it's something fixed that once we have the rule of law, that's okay. We have to take care of this rule of law as citizens. And it's something that the politicians are not uh, alone in this task. We are responsible for the health of this rule of law in our democracies. My book is available in Spanish. This is the book. You can get it from Amazon.com and in any library here in, in Spain, in some Latin American countries, and hopefully it could be translated into English or in French or in, in any other language. <laughs>